Hey Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. In today's reading, we are going to we are going to take a look and see um, where you'll be in say six months from now. Okay, so what can you get, what can you expect? Where will you be? What comes up for you? Um, let's begin with the Fool's energy here. The Fool is it's on a journey. Okay, it is considered the Major Arcana is often considered his journey, the Fool's journey. Um, and his journey through life and he's a reminder that you know he, he's ever present and he's number zero that's why he has no number right because he's constantly present it is his journey after all what's happening for you is I feel like there's you know the fool is a card for new beginnings for new beginnings for potential for new opportunities and I feel like just like the young man in the picture here, you are on the outset of a new journey. You are on the outset of a new beginning, okay? And I feel like, you know, he stands here on the edge of a cliff and he's about to take his first step, but it's into the unknown. And for a lot of you, okay, because you've also got the moon that's uh, shown up here, there's this energy that's kind of woven into the reading here and it's this energy of fear it's you know scared of pushing yourself outside of your set, um, comfort zone scared of doing something different doing you know um something differently um it's you know right now you're being called to commit to yourself to commit to your heart and follow your heart okay no matter how crazy it might seem to you or anyone else okay and no matter how crazy it might seem to take this leap of faith but that's exactly what you need to do right now you need to trust in yourself because there's something here that i feel like you're being called to do and it's it's like you have to trust okay you have to trust you have to trust in yourself you have to trust that the universe is taking care of you and it's taking care is taking you where you need to go as you undertake this journey the fool is someone who encourages you to be trusting okay and to keep that sense of excitement alive because you know the, we see the fool as naive Okay, but I like to see him as enlightened because it is his journey and on his journey he goes through these experiences, you know, as he ventures on his journey and um, there's so much spiritual growth and enlightenment that he takes on. So now's a time of great potential and great opportunity for you. You might be starting out something new. It may be, you know, a new study, a new degree. Um, it might be a new career opportunity. It might be a new opportunity. You might be starting out a new project or a new hobby, but... Maybe, you know, you've been holding yourself back, but I think the next six months is a really good time to start. Start right now, you know, start with where you have, because some of you have been holding out off until you get green lit, green lit for the project or until the universe green lights you and you've been holding off until you have all the resources and you have all the tools and you have all the time. But the thing is, you are ready right now. And if, you, if you've been waiting for some sort of sign, I think this is your sign. This is your sign to get started, you know. With where, with where you're at, with whatever it is you have. Um, the world is your oyster and you can honestly make anything happen. And I truly believe that. So there's some sort of magical time in the energies. But don't let the fear be the thing that holds you back. Okay, because it can be scary venturing out into the unknown, right? So I feel like very, there is something here that's very new and it feels like it's very exciting. And it's up to you to make the most of this magical time and to bring your ideas to you know bring out your ideas in a very powerful way only you can do it um and this i feel like you know the universe is also inviting you with the fool's energy there's a bit of folly to his energy so the universe is inviting for you to relax play have fun with it okay it doesn't have to be so serious i mean i'm not saying don't treat it serious but have a little fun with it whatever it is whether it's you know you're wanting to start a new business idea or whether it's you know a new relationship you want to embrace a new love um, or whether it's, you know, like you're learning a new skill, a new degree. It's so important for you to tap into your fullest potential. And to do that, you have to kind of step into a place of wonder, a place of folly, a place of, you know, curiosity, a place of intrigue, right? Um, the fool reminds us to live life as though you were a child once again. You know, laugh more, you know, just be carefree. Just let your heart go free, that kind of energy. Um, now's an excellent time. So any, any time you experience resistance, any time that you experience fear in your life, just remember to t try and tap into the um, energy of the fool because he's acknowledging, you know, he's 
encouraging you to acknowledge the fear i mean you can't pretend you can't deny the fear is not there when really it is right that, that'd be silly so do acknowledge the fear but the four just says you know do it anyways because isn't that the very definition of courage right it's admitting you know you're scared okay admitting you're scared admitting you know you have fear about this thing but doing it anyways so you, you don't know you, can, you don't know what the future holds and the future has this you know you are limitless there's so much potential and I feel like with the fool's energy you are stepping into the unknown you are okay whatever it is that you're especially for those of you that can resonate with this if you're you know um, starting out something okay if you're starting out something especially if it's you know if it's scary and if it holds you back you kind of have to step into the unknown and that's what change is and a lot of people fear change because they fear the unknown but you have to trust that the universe is going to catch you along the way because some of you i'm sure because i do bring this up often you know with the fool's energy there's this myth that um goes something like you know how the fool's about to venture off the edge of the cliff here right um there's a myth that says that the cliff, because of his complete innocence and his faith and his trust, the cliff regenerates below the fool's feet. So you have to trust that the universe is going to catch you. Okay, it's going to catch you and it's going to sort of escort you along the way to where you need to go. Okay, you've got a lot of new beginnings that are being strongly indicated in the cards for you. But of course, with um, I think with the seven of sort ones and the moon and the death card, you know, don't. Don't let fear get in your way. And anytime you do experience fear, it's so important that you acknowledge it, but you do it anyways, right? Speaking of fear, some of you could literally be facing your fears and conquering them. Like if you have a fear of heights, you could be facing that. Um, but there's some sort of, yeah, there's some sort of fears in the energy that are present um, as I do this reading. And it's just, it, it tells you to acknowledge it. Acknowledge it, but do it anyways. I mean... You've got the death card here and it's about endings and it's about new beginnings birth and rebirth change and uh, more change and transformation and there's a beauty in all of that okay um i feel like you're going through a lot of changes and you will be going through a lot of changes or maybe you have and you will continue to do so and i think there's this personal transformation that's taking place in your energies and it's some very powerful and big stuff but um, Seven of Wands with the Moon card tells me that there may be a resistance in your energies, a resistance to change. Remember how we spoke about, you know, change could be scary because it is stepping into the unknown. It's not knowing what comes next. It's having to change things that you're familiar with. But as a result, you don't know, you know, what life has for you. Um, you might let go of something good only to get something better in return. So I feel like you're, there's something here with this, the ending of a major phase in your life and whether it's you, you know, transforming yourself transforming your ways but there could be the ending of a major phase or aspect in your life which is just which you've outgrown or which just you know no longer serves you no longer works for you and the ending of this phase opens you up to the possibility of something new something a lot more in alignment something that is so much more valuable um, and beneficial to you and you know for one door to open another must close right and for some of you, I think you need to put the past behind you and you might have to part ways in order to embrace new doors opening, new beginnings and new possibilities. Um, so it might be difficult to let go of something, especially something from the past, because that's familiar, that's certain, that's predictable, that's comforting, true. But, you know, once you let go of that, you'll soon see the importance of, you know, whatever it is that comes and replaces it, because this is the promise of transformation this is the promise of um, arrival okay so um you know you have to you have to get creative you do and you have to allow for new positive and constructive patterns to emerge here speaking of doors there is something that's opening to a much more satisfying experience in your life okay there's eight of wands this is something that's exciting exhilarating fast-paced some of you might be doing a lot of traveling you've got the fool and you've got the eight of wands the fool is a nomad nomadic journey his nomadic energy he's constantly on this journey and he doesn't sit still so there's something here that i feel like maybe this massive change is going to bring in unexpected opportunities unexpected surprises that are going to create positive changes and advantages for you but you have to be willing to embrace them okay um if you refuse if you refuse this change, if you refuse, I feel like you're going to 
you know, life is going to stagnate and you're going to be stuck in limbo. If you resist it, if you're reluctant to let go, or if you don't know how to make the change that you need, it might interfere with new opportunities and new doors that are opening for you. There is also abundance indicated in the cards for you. You've got the Ten of Swords, uh, not the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. And this is being, you know, very comfortable. And this is uh, being very secure here with where you are. Um, the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles is a card that is... It's kind of overflowing with material success. I want to say that's where you're going to be at. Or you might potentially start an ID that will ensure, you know, it's going to be successful. It's going to be um, profitable. It's going to be lucrative. Um, there's, some, there's an opportunity that I feel like is going to have a lot of material security attached to it. There's an opportunity that you might be starting out or you might open up the doors to this opportunity that I feel like are really going to be the foundation. The foundation of your the foundation of the situation is going to be like comfort, material comfort, stability, security, wealth. OK, um, I feel like there's some sort of business venture as well that is getting underway. Some sort of business win venture that I feel like is going to generate a lot of happiness and a lot of um, emotional fulfillment and a, a lot of material wealth as well. A smart investment um, or the result of a successful career path or career choice. Um, I'm also seeing long-term relationships in the card for you. Okay, so long-term relationships here um, are showing up. Or, you know, this card can also be a promise that everything is going to come together and everything is going to work out in the end. And, you know, you're going to be proud of everything that you've achieved. Okay, so this is, there's a lot of, there's an energy of gratitude in the cards for fulfilling your goals, for fulfilling your drills, uh, dr your dreams. Um, your goals, your dreams, and for, you know, making those things tangible. This is also, the Ten of Pentacles is an energy that ensures, you know, your success is going to last a long time. There's something here that you worked very hard, or there's something here that you're working on very hard to get to here or to get there. And it's going to pay off. It's going. To, you're going to be enjoying the success, the wealth, and the abundance, and it's going to bring you a lot of joy, a lot of satisfaction here. It could be uh, also a sign that you know family and friends are very important to you, and um, there may be. You may be surrounding yourself, like your home life is happy, and you can provide your family with the security that they need. And, um, you know, you're strongly connected to family history here. Family history, your family lineage, your um, heritage here. And the Ten of Pentacles could also represent tradition, being part of something bigger. Or realizing that, you know, your ancestors, they flow through your veins. So you might be trying to connect and find out more about family, okay? Or family may be trying to reach you. Um, you might take on... I don't know, it's you, you're, you're connecting fam to your family history, your heritage, your family lineage. That, that's interesting. You might be trying to make a project, okay, that somehow involves, okay? It may be, tr it may be like, you might be trying to write a piece that's based on true events, um, or based on, you know, a family member's life story. Because there's, there's something in here that, and it feels you're very strongly connected to this. It resonates very strongly with some of your energies here. Um... I also feel like with because the Ten of Pentacles is just above the moon, the below the moon card. Sometimes you know, make sure with whatever it is that you want to do in life, make sure it, it's what you want to do. Okay, you're not doing it because it, it pays well, or you know, you're not chasing. You know, you're not just chasing the dollar here, um, so you can just own the latest pair of 
I don't know, whatever it is, the latest pair of shoes or, you know, whatever it is that you want. Make sure that you're doing what it is that you want to do. Because the Ten of Pentacles, I know it's not come up in reverse here, but the Moon card is there. And sometimes it's a reminder that wealth can be a trap. You know, sometimes when you surround yourself with more expensive and fancy, schmancy things, you, you start, you know, you, greed kicks in and you start wanting more and more of it, never truly leaving, feeling satisfied in the end, okay? So sometimes it's a reminder that less can be more, okay, and that wealth can be a trap. So make sure what you want is something that is of true value to you. Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing and subscribing. Bye!